keyboard isn't working. Hi guys, welcome to more one video. In this video, we are going to solve the problem of your keyboard isn't working. It can be some keys and it can be as well all of them. So pay attention to the video and follow all the instructions and be sure to leave a like because this helps a lot. Before we continue, first thing you have to do is check the connection. Make sure your keyboard is properly plugged into your computer or device. If it's a wireless keyboard, make sure it's turned on or powerly correctly. It also may be a solution to restart your computer. Sometimes a simple restart can fix the issue. But before that, save any important work, close all the programs and restart your computer. The first method we are actually going to the window here. We are going to click here on window. We are going to settings. Then we are going to update and security. Here on the left corner, we are going to look for troubleshoot. When this screen show up, we are going to find additional troubleshooters. Then we are going to look for keyboard. Then run the troubleshooter. Computer will begin to start to look for problems. As my computer doesn't have any error, it won't show up. But if your keyboard is showing some error, it certainly will show. In addition to that, you should check for drive updates. If your keyboard has some model, as mine, my keyboard is from SPG, so I can Google it and download the latest drive, and it will be fine. So check for drive updates. Because if your keyboard isn't working after checking the connection and do what we done right there, it may be a driver issue. So go to the manufacturer website and look for updates for your keyboard driver. Another thing you have to try is try a different USB port. Because if you are using a USB keyboard, try plugging it a different port on your computer. It may show the problem. There is another thing that you can do as well. Use the on-screen keyboard. Can't get your keyboard to work at all. You can use the on-screen keyboard to type. So go to the window and type on slash screen keyboard. Then you have this option to write. Before you go to the next step, if you want to contribute to my channel, please, there will be a link in the description that you can donate any amount. It will be very appreciated. It will help my channel a lot. You will make me be able to continue to make these videos to help you guys. Now for the next step, we are going to the same place here on window. We are going to settings again. And then we are going to ease of access. Here on ease of access, we are going to the left corner and go to keyboard. Here we are going trying to find something called user theory keys. Here, if it's off, press on. If it's on, press off. Now test and see if it works. If this method worked, please leave a comment below for people to see that it worked. Okay? Now for the next method, we are going to the same place again, settings. Then we are going to keyboard. Then we are going to ease of access again. Here on Ease of Access, we are going to keyboard again. And here's a bit different. We are going to the right corner and go to Language and Keyboard Settings. Clicking there, this screen will show up. Then we will have to do is click here, and if there is another one to click, if there isn't, you go to edit language and choose your place where you live and test it. You can also delete it and try to edit again. It may be the solution. The last method that I would recommend to you is replace the keyboard. If none of the solutions work, it may be time to replace your keyboard. You can find a new keyboard online or physical. Mode. By following those steps, you should be able to resolve the issue of your keyboard not working. 
If you continue to have problems, it may be best to seek help from a professional technician. I hope my video helped you. Please leave a comment below if you did. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.